Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you the final and constant keywords, exactly const. And so I'm going to show you how to create final and constant variables. So for example, if I have two variables, v1, I'll find value 9, bar v2, I'll find the value 10. If I were to print these out, and I'll do another print, do v2. And what I'm going to do is, yeah, for, for now, let's just run this. I think you know what we're going to get 9, 10. If I was to do v1, change the value, no matter what we change it to, but if it's only valid, and if I print that out, we'll get 8 and 10 because we've overwritten the value. Simple stuff. If I make these final and constant, so if I make this one final, you don't have a data type, you just put the keyword final, we put const, what happens if we run it? We get an error. So the error is saying v1, a final variable, can only be set once. Constant variables can't be assigned a value. So essentially, these variables cannot have another value reassigned. Awesome. So this is great if you have something in your code that you want to basically keep constant, you know, that value needs to persist. Maybe you have pi, for example, you know, maybe you have something like your final pi equals 3.14159, depending on how much precision you want, you, you could keep on going. But the, this is an example of where you would, you know, you might have, even though these errors have disappeared, then they will reappear even for some reason they disappeared here so this is a great reason why you would use something like a constant because this is a value you don't want to change so any value that you don't want to change you'd have the other constant why would you have a final or a constant you know aren't they doing the same thing almost final can have its value initialized so you can only set the value once and that's right to start when you initialize it on this line final can have its value initialized at runtime const has to have it initialized before compilation and and what i mean by that is if i create a method i'm just going to call this epic if you want to know more about methods especially method return type feel free to take a look at the return i mean the function part of this series Okay, so if I do return nine, no, I'll do return one. If I do return one, if I do epic here, and I run this, we get one and 10. But if I was to do epic here, and spell epic correctly, we'll get an error. The method invocation is not a constant expression. This needs to have a, a specific value that is determined before compilation, at, uh, you know, uh, during the stage of compilation. This still has to have an initial value set, but this value can be determined at runtime, so while the application is running. So the reason you would maybe have this over this one is if you're getting input from the user, for example, and whatever they input becomes, you know, the final value for this, for example, then you would go down the route of final. If you know what the value is while you're coding, maybe you know it's seven, then you will use a const. So that's the difference between the final and constant variable, really useful. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message, and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.